Welcome to the Genius Solutions Populating Item 15 on the new CMS 1500 Claim Form in eThomas video. This video will detail information about Item 15 and how to populate Item 15 in eThomas. Okay, here's some information about Item 15, which is the other date. The National Uniform Claim Committee, the NUCC, states to use item 15 to identify additional date information about the patient's condition. So you'll, you, you will want to report the information that is required by the payer who is receiving claims in order to receive payment. So again, report only the information that the payer is requesting. There are three qualifiers that E. Thomas can populate onto the claim form in item 15. There is a 439 for accident date. There is a 304, 304, which is the last visit or consultation. And there is a 454, which is the initial treatment date. And now we'll go in to show you how to get each of these to populate onto the claim form if needed. To populate item 15 with a 439 qualifier for accident, you'll want to enter the date in the illness injury date field and then check if it's auto, work, or other under the related to accident field. Keep in mind that if auto is selected, you must also select the state in which the accident occurred and then save your changes. To populate item 15 with a 304 qualifier, you'll want to go to the All Fields tab in the header. Then you'll want to enter the date in the ref last seen date and then save your changes. If your practice type is chiropractic or your procedure code is marked as spinal manipulation, you may need a qualifier of 454 to populate. And to populate this qualifier, you'll fill out the first consulted date from within the header. And again, this would be if you're a chiropractic practice type or from within the procedure code, your procedure code is marked with a spinal manipulation special indicator. And that's going to wrap it up for populating item 15 in eThomas video. Be sure to check out our other CMS 1500 claim form videos. Thank you.